So hello, Professor Bright here. Welcome back to the Sunless Skies, where we have, uh, well, many things to do. First of all, I need to... No. The, the map, thank you. First of all, I need to go to Magdalene's, although... Mmm, I could start on Titania's questline as well. But no, the main goal is Magdalene's, Port Prosper, Farm and Plenty, Hybris. That is the goal, such as it is. Uh, actually, speaking of, I did the thing for, um, what's her face, the strong woman, yes? Does it say anywhere here? There we go. Port Prosper and Magdalene. Okay, yeah. I'm in New Winchester, not Port Prosper. That's why I'm doing this. Right. Also, I have a character point I should probably spend. Hmm. A pestilence, you say? A metamorphosis, though? Um, with where my stats are at, I kind of want to get mirrors to 75 because that seems to be the key level oh okay well that's fine um steam and soot you spent much of your time at the engine yards watching locomotives being built repaired and decommissioned they were iron behemoths their bones steel their breath steam their innards intricate as a pocket watch how do you spend your time among them i mean learning how they work obviously you appropriated a workbench and tools and set to work dismantling obscure machinery and putting it back together again Yes. Because if I can get two skills to 75, I think that's better than having multiple at 50. If that makes sense. Actually, I think they removed the skill cap. Like, there's some way after you reach character level 20 to get more points in various stats, but I don't remember what that was. Oh my god, I forgot to resupply. Whoop. <laughs> well, hmm. Journey's off to a good start. Uh, let me fix that real quick. Let me go back and not be stupid. Just a thought. Just an idea. Ah, oh, dearie, dear me. Alright. Yes. Hi. I thought I'd already done this. Evidently had not. Oh. Hello. That smells like an opportunity. This, less so, unless there's some in my bank. Uh, there is not. Wait, wait, no. Nothing there I can use. Can I sell this actually? Eh, I'm gonna keep it there, just in case something untoward happens. Um, nope. Gotta remember. I need fuel and supplies to live. Yeah, that's all my money gone. Well, okay. And if this doesn't work out, we're dead. So, onward, people. Oh, boy. Um, debating options. Because I kind of want to go on a detour to Magdalene's, but at the same time, I don't need to. It's not really what I'm here for. And, yeah, yeah. Grumble, grumble, complain, complain, whine, whinge. Etc. Actually, what do we have in the area? No, I can actually, you know, do stuff with that. Oh. Hello, something ghastly. Hmm. Let's see what the ghastly thing is. Possibly valuable, possibly not, but possibly. Hmm. That's not the best of... Oh, what the devil is it? Recognition, perhaps? In sky suits and spore masks, your crew haul a porous asteroid aboard. The top half is veiled by a mesh of fungus, like mini minty crinoline. Lichen of all shades clinging to the underside of the rock in an iridescent coating. Hmm. Your stokers assure you it can be burnt for fuel. Uh, you know, maybe not. Maybe don't do that. Maybe never do that. I know what happened to the Parzifal. Uh, study the fungus, though. Perhaps you can learn something. Observations. It does not respond to movement, heat, or light. It does, however, seem inclined towards sound, emitting a puff of spores in the direction of two chattering crewmen. You perform further experiments, it ignores the noise of the engines, and is unresponsive to music, but does respond to singing. Apparently, the fungus likes voices. Uh-huh. 
Recognition, you say? Hmm. Hmm. Curious, that. Well, you're dead. Oh, well, maybe not. Perhaps I am the dead. Unlikely, but oh, come on now. There we go. What we got? Uh, sovereigns. Not many sovereigns either. Kind of pointless. Let's see what we have in the Glaze Brook. Oh. I could use more crewmen. Yes. Oh, God, no. I forgot those were things that could happen. Oh, good guests. Yeah, uh huh. Oh, fuck me. Okay, lag of loading. God, I hope that's not anything. You just like appeared out of nowhere. I don't know what that was about. I would kind of like to know, but, uh. Well, actually, seeing as you don't have any rear mounted guns. Oh, fuck. Oh, come on. Cease the foolishness. Okay. Okay. The fact that this game lags is so irritating to me. It has no right to, but regardless. Here we are. Okay. Their stolen home bursts open under your gunfire. Thousands of wriggling guests spill into the night, glistening like the ooze from a blister after it was lanced. Be wary, watch for anything that wriggles. Ugh. Oh. Well. The guests were stuffed into the locomotive like the meat in a sausage. Most of its contents have been ground to powder or paste. Only the crew's keepsakes, no matter how fragile, have been spared. Did the guests take care of them? You managed to recover lockets and wedding rings, a set of ugly Toby jugs, and silver picture frames before a shriek interrupts your search. One of your crew capers like a Morris dancer. Her life tether tap snaps. A lurking guest has found its way into her sky suit. It drinks her warmth as she falls into the sky. Ugh. God. Yep, that seems like an awful way to go. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, I'm not not the biggest fan of worm-like creatures slithering into your containment suit and just... Oh god. Ugh, nope. Mm -mm. Not my scene, friends. I'd rather not be host to any of these guests. Ugh. Disgusting. Ah, oh, dearie dear me, though. It's good to be back. I gotta say, this is just such a nicer environment compared to Eutheria. Like, the revamp really did some good to this area. <laughs> um, I think it's clear I've decided, well, actually, no. If the Peacock Wind's gonna be doing that, and I have such a little fuel, maybe just go to Magdalene's. Yeah, maybe, I, I get it. I get what you're telling me, game. I get it. Just go to Magdalene's, ignore everything else. I get it. Poor driver. Yeah, I'll be fine, though. Actually, do I have enough to remove some more of my nightmares, perhaps? Oh. I mean, there is fine. What's going on at the keepsake market? Ooh. Hmm. How much does this cost? 50. I mean... Fair enough, fair enough. Alright. Remind me, you want two moments of inspiration now. Hmm. She is present for a given value of the term. Oh. That's a sad one. LA, Magdalene's house of comfort... House of small comfort, I should say. Write ourselves our part report. First things first. Oh. Well, put up a flyer for the strong women. They do not allow flyers to be posted on the premises. They do, however, keep them tightly stacked for interested parties to take. The receptionist accepts them after a thorough examination and consulting her ordinances more than once. Leave them out for guests. Yes, excellent, excellent. Uh, what if, though... Talk to patients being discharged? They exit the treatment chambers, fresh from their encounters with attendants in the guise of their most personal memories. Quiet weeping can be heard through the glass corridors. 
Some leave smiling, others weeping. No one can resist looking back behind them, even for just a peek. Um, hmm. I don't know if there's any benefit to going backstage, but just in case, you are known by the host. You are permitted to socialize with the attendants and observe behind-the-scenes life at Magdalene's. Hmm. There are always jealous glares when someone parts the violet curtain that keeps the attendants' private space from their work. Backstage, relaxed chatter and the scratchy sounds of music over the gramophone fill the air. Clouds of powdered makeup and tobacco wash over you, mixed with lavender perfume. There are lines to rehearse, briefs to digest, accents to perfect. Help an attendant prepare for work. And let me not be wrong about you, the attendant frowns as she finishes her line reading, but she was. He never came back for her. She bunches her hands into a fist before shaking it out, and I get to go and play the solve for his guilt. Hmm. For his guilt. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. A lot of guilt in this game, actually, now I'm thinking about it. But regardless, speak to the amenable host. He's currently available. Hey, so, you know how I didn't know who you were? It turns out, turns out, uh, yeah, I might, uh, might know who you were, possibly. A beautiful amnesiac with the arrogance of a Greek god. He certainly fits the description. Should I ask him to come to Langley Hall? The amenable host surveys you with frank amazement. On the possible lost love of who? Some toff in a moldering mansion in the backwater. His contempt is palpable. Why bring me this? You've already confirmed who I am. I'll not entertain it being contra contradicted again. I am sanguine in what you've told me. Do not dig up what I've already settled. He rings a bell. The audience is at an end. Oh. Shoot. That's actually really annoying. So basically by doing this before I did the other mission, I can't... Fit <sighs> Hmm. And the worst part is I did that on a previous captain. So, like, I'm just locked out of that option from here on out. Ugh, that sucks. I hate that. That's just... I would have to do this on a brand new save file, basically, instead of on a new captain, which is easier to do. Unless I want to do some weird things with save game editing, which I really don't, so... Oh, well. Onward, onward. Always onward. Oh, hello. What are you kids up to? Looks like you're fighting something. Ooh, someone's fighting back, too. Uh, I do want to see that thing that's fighting back, but, uh... Well. Any secrets? Hmm. Oh, just some ministry stamp permits. That's fine. They are quite useful. Oh, that one exploded. That's a shame. Uh, hmm. Could you stop that? I'd appreciate it ever so much if you did. I should be slightly faster than you. And there we go. Okay. What else you got for me? Hmm. Oh, just some salon suit gossip. Nothing valuable. Nothing especially valuable, I should specify. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see what we have down here. No. The corpse disappeared on me. Well, that's upsetting. Um. Excuse me. Is that area not something I already knew about? Hmm. I mean, I finished my business over in Magdalene's, unfortunately. Harumph. I mean, I guess I did solve the problem of who he was, but... God, that's just... Mm, okay, fine. It's fine. Although then I don't know what the other route is. Like, what the other person would be. But, oh well. 
choices made, consequences and choices and consequences and choices. Consequences and choices. There we go. Uh, this is a bad idea, but let's go for it. Oh. I was expecting a different event, but okay. Ah, there we are. Hello, friend. Have you considered dying? Have you considered that option, perhaps? Oh, what do we got? What we got, what we got? Salon stewed, yeah, salon stewed gossip. Useless. Well, potentially valuable, but not very useful to me right now. Ugh. Could be doing better on the fuel management, but... While I'm here... I have that most unfortunate desire to actually continue on here. Hmm. Although, again, my own audio is deciding it just wants to cut out. That's upsetting. Uh, disperse the rubble, just deal with some tear. If I could make them into fuel, that would be useful, but, well, here we are. Choices made, as it were. Take that. Hmm. Ourselves a bull. Oh. Oh no. Oh god, no. I'm leaving. Goodbye. This place is awful. I'm leaving and not coming back. Goodbye. Gray witnesses. Mmm. 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 Yep. Yep, I'm good with just not this. Not this, not today, thank you very much. Oh dear. It does look like something odd's happening with the recording. I might have to look into that. And by recording, I mean straight. Oh, I made a mistake here. I did not mean to. Uh, I do apologize. But, ow, ow. Was it worth it? No. No, it was not. All right. Well, that having been done. Let's get ourselves over this away. And see what we have. Oh, well, yeah, but I'm not going back up there. See, when I said I wasn't going back up there, I meant it. That's a hard no from me. Okay. Uh, I mean, there's many things we could do. Actually, have I killed any Tacities? Oh, evidently I haven't. Huh. I've accepted the offer before, doesn't mean I necessarily do it, but, well. A messenger greets you at the station. He has the scrub pink face and immaculate hair of a natural-born butler. He holds a placard with your name. Hello. Interesting. The messenger explains that he is, as you already guessed, a butler. His master has heard much about your exploits and is quite desperate to meet you. He hands you a card with an address. You recognize it as... A neighborhood of particular wealth and prominence. Okay. The Bleak Industrialist's estate. The estate takes up half a street. The mansion itself is a grandiose structure with Venetian windows, a cupola, columns in the Palladian style. But the garden is tangled with weeds. Muddy water pools glumly at the bottom of disused fountains. The Industrialist receives you in one of his drawing rooms, sitting with a rum glass beside a fire. He has a sour cast to his mouth and eyes that blaze with indiscriminate loathing. Ask why he sent for you? Before he answers, he knocks back the rum in a single gulp and calls for his butler to fetch another. There is a distant kingdom where the dead can be found. The industrialist voice is hoarse with disuse. I need an enterprising sort, such as yourself, to visit it for me and retrieve someone. It should be a simple enough affair. In return, I'll pay you a small fortune. 
Who does he want brought back from the dead? Some years ago, I lost someone dear to me, he says. A world without her, and it is worthless. Miserable. I need her back. Oh? Why only a small fortune? Ah, shame. We can negotiate terms once my wife is returned to my side, says the industrialist. Fair, fair. Agree to help him. Why not? You can at least try to retrieve his lost love from the kingdom of the dead. Thank you, the industrialist contemplates his glass for a while. London has an embassy there, a place called Sky Barnett. Intriguing name. I cultivated a contact among the diplomats who I hoped would help me, but he's proved useless. Maybe you'll get more value from him than I could. There's no further conversation. The industrialist sits back in his high back chair and stares at the fire with empty hatred. Yeah. I... Mm, uh, hmm. Curious. Um, explore pro Port Prosper proper. Write a port report, of course. Oh. I mean, might as well. Attend a parade. It is apparently the Feast of the Red Saint. Ah, yes. Ho, the rioting, etc. Fraternize with everyone. Skyfarers are not limited by the rigid social structures of Port Prosper, though neither are they beloved for it. Yeah. Tolerated by any everyone. Um... Put up a flyer for the strong women. The West Enders need some way to burn their money. Their East Enders need a distraction. Posting flyers in both districts should serve you well. By the time you've papered the city, everyone's a buzz. Factory workers wonder if she could perform the labor of a clayman. The well-to-do wonder if she might be able to carry them around in sedans by herself. Rude drunkards wonder if she could lift the rock that overlooks them all. The rock that overlooks them all? What? Curious. But, regardless. Uh, we'll offer transport. Why not? Encourage others to seek adventure. Not the best use of a sky story, actually. No, perhaps not. I have a feeling I will need... Well, I might not need those. I might need money more. Regardless, though. Uh, actually, hold up, hold up. Gotta sell these to get that money. Thank you. I got tons of this, but I'll take more. Hmm. An auction of blue-painted crockery. The recent death of a well-to-do widower has triggered an unseemly family squabble over the disposition of his estate. An indifferent solicitor has been charged with auctioning off various parts of the deceased's unwanted belongings in order to cover the death duty. Death duty? Curious. Um, yeah, I think we'll just go to Palmer and Plenty's and take in the show with a strong woman, and that might be today. We'll see how much time it takes. Otherwise, we'll be going back to Hybris. Although I don't know how long it's going to take to rescue those people. We'll see. We shall find out. We shall learn. <sighs> Deary, dear me. Oh, well. Oh. That's an interesting problem we got there. Well. Deal with that later. Sorry, just some, uh, side things going on. Yeah, there's the lag. Okay. Interesting. I'm gonna need to relook at my settings after this, I think. Hmm. Harumph, I say. Harumph, harumph. Sound of confusion. Nope, nope, wrong button. There we go. I do wish it would keep going when you're going into the map, but that's fine. Minor convenience features, it's fine. They do want you to be very attentive to what's going on here. I get it. That was an odd throbbing noise. Oh, hello. Hello, hello. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Even better now. What do we got? Something valuable, perhaps? More gossip, that's fine. Ah, dear. Gotta say, the Marauder Mangonel is pretty great. Uh, let's see here. I'm just gonna grab me some, uh... 
coal material. Ooh, ouch. But if it's scratched there, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? Excuse me? Last of our... F oh. Oh, whoops. I made a dumb mistake. Uh, scavenger our supplies. Um... What do you mean, partial success? Holy shit. Do you guys sell fuel? You don't. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Right. I did not pay attention to my fuel and supplies. I was busy being distracted by everything else crashing down around me. Okay, well, mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. Mm-hmm. This is good. This is what good feels like. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go to Palmer and Plenty's first, and then we'll go to... Well, actually, we'll buy a lot of supplies, and then we'll go to New Winchester. Yes, this is the plan. Unless... No, you just sell supplies. Okay. I made a dumb mistake. Should have brought my fuel at Port Prosper. That's what I intended to do, and I just didn't do it, because I was... Ah. Foolish me being distracted. A dangerous thing to be distracted when you're yeah, in the skies. Oh, dear. Nope, nope, nope. There we go. There we go. It's fine. It's fine. All is well. After a fashion, to a degree. The Inconceivable Circus, the greatest show. This is the greatest show. Oh, I'll take that. I should not have taken that. Greed, why do you do this to me? Um, fuck. I can't believe I just did that. I'm actually stunned in silence. You can't see that my jaw has dropped open, but oh my god. Why did I do that? I don't even need this. Shit. Okay. Well, um... You know what? While I'm here, greatest show. Uh, visit the. Uh, God, I attend another performance. What wonders await you this evening? Let's see here. There we are. Ends when the headstrong strongman lifts a very large. Oh, I thought that. Go behind the tents. Oh, I see why. Tell the headstrong strongman her flyers are posted. If anyone from the Rage visits the circus, they'll know to have something ready for her. You deliver the news while she's in the middle of her training. She puts the dumbbell down with exquisite form and fetches your reward from her tent. Here she says, wiping sweat from her brow with her form. Although bring something interesting, I've really missed being surprised. She smiles wistfully and returns to lifting her weights, keeping up a running commentary on the things she saw last time her act was popular. Hmm. So, can I go again? No. Well... Visit the Ringmaster's Caravan. Uh, da, 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 da. Accept a commission to purchase costumes for the clown. Two of cats. The costumes are not for the clown, but for his pet geese. Cuddles and ruffles. He's not funny without them, confides the Ringmaster. His best acts require them, the Ringmaster says. But they won't perform unless they're in costume, and unfortunately the geese have a habit of destroying them after a few shows. We have a friend in Port Prosper who will be happy to supply us with costumes. We have the money, but not the transport. Okay. Hmm. So in theory, if one were to go to Port Prosper, they could get fuel and supplies. And costumes. And there would probably be enough time that they could go see the circus again. Yes, this is a plan. Don't know if it's a good plan, but it's a plan. And it's the plan we are going to go with. In the worst case scenario, I'm going to end up inscribing a searing enigma on my engine and hoping that doesn't kill us all. But, uh, yeah, you know, it's, 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 it's fine. Fine is what this is. This is fine. Why wouldn't it be? Por que non?
Hmm. Actually, I'm wondering about a few other things, but those are things for me to test later. Not in this game, but on my general setup. But again, not relevant at the moment. Sorry, I'm a little bit off. At the moment, eh, dearie dear me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> curiouser and curiouser. I'm sorry, what? Ah, yes. Well, the thing is I have three chances to find a lifeline before the cold claims you. Um, try this first. Well, damn it. Oh. Oh. Well, the joke's on you. I barely have any sovereigns. Surrender and let them take what they want. Ha. Huh. Wait, I have more supplies now. Ha ha! You fools! Um, let's go ahead and... Inscribe a searing enigma upon your regular valve. valve. A glyph in the language of suns, the very soul of fire, your engineers strenuously object, but their commitment to science has always been disappointingly tenuous. A beast of the heavens. Shit. Okay. The sigil blazes, savage as the blood of stars, your engines rage, your cylinder resounds with thunder, pistons shriek, frantically trying to keep up with the sudden pressure. Pipes crack, filling the corridors with foggy steam. A tank ruptures, crew scream, a stoker laughs wildly, and his tongue is licking flame. Your locomotive thunders through the skies, an unstoppable leviathan. <laughs> ah, that was a waste. A massive waste of a searing enigma. <sighs> Perhaps I should have actually... What I technically should have done was signal for help again and hope for the best. and That would have been the correct move. But... I was dumb, and I deserved to lose that searing enigma. <sighs> Shameful. But, oh well. Choice made. It's why you have to be attentive. You have to pay attention to things. You can't just go in all guns blazing. Oh. Lag of loading. What are you loading in, friend? Also, I like that they just gave me supplies. The Marauders, instead of taking supplies, just gave me some. You know, took half of my sovereigns, which... Pleh. Oh? Eh, in the grand scheme, it's not important right now. Right now, what is important is going right over here. Getting my hands on some supplies and fuel. Actually, how much does it cost for those costumes? Hmm. There's a tailor in the West End who, they say, once made emergency repairs with the captivating princess's addresses. She accepts the work as a favor. Accepted the work as a favor. The tailor, needle in his mouth like a cigarette, holds up a hand while he searches for the garment under his desk. He piles up a few shoeboxes and grins. I think I really captured the spirit of the Reach with this one. I'm sure the geese will love them, especially the boots. Oh yes, because geese are known to love footwear. Hmm. Yes? No? Hmm. Okay, fuel's more important to me than all the rest of this. Uh, yeah, this is, this is, this is good. This is, this is good. Although, I think I need to take a moment to... Sort of reorient myself, get me back in the sunless skies mood. So for now, thank you all for your time. Hit the like, comment, and subscribe buttons below. Use them responsibly, and I will see you all soon. Goodbye for now.